what you can do with this wig. You can pull this wig up and wig. So many questions on can you put a wig in a ponytail? Pretty Lux Hair has came out with this wig that I think you guys will truly like and I'm really excited to be sharing it with you all today. So jumping right in, this wig is a straight texture. I have mine in 180% density and it's super long. I believe it's about 22 inches. Now the cap construction on this wig come with a beautiful lace that you can blend very effortlessly. You'll see that in today's video. It does not come with bleach knots, unfortunately. However, this is a 360 lace cap. Now this is a new 360 cap. It comes with this invisible adjustable band in the back. So the convenience of this particular cap is that the the back of the wig does not have that bulky band in the back of it which usually cause a lot of bunching at the neck and it also causes for you not to be able to wear your hair up in a ponytail so this is very convenient and I'm going to show you in today's video how to use this wig to your best advantage you can see it does have wefting in the middle of the cap so you do get that beautiful pre-plucked hairline this is the super pre-plucked hairline and like I said the lace is going to just melt i just know it um i can't wait to install this y'all let's get into this now if you will be wearing your wig in an updo with a bun or a ponytail i highly recommend to bleach the knots in the back of the wig now i'm going to bleach the ones in the front also but i'm going to start in the back because the back is normally the knots that are the hardest or take the longest to bleach so i'm going to start there and i am going to go back later on um and lighten this wig put some highlights in it this is a color number two and it also comes in uh, black if you want it in that color is get rid of all this extra cap that's going on it's just so much lace but as you can see this lace is so invisible like it looks so good Let's talk about the invisible adjustable band. So it is a white color and I was kind of disappointed in that because you can't see it through the cap. So what I'm going to do to conceal that is take my uh, contour stick and go over that and it covers it very well. And even though I was worried about it at the beginning, even when I installed the wig, as you guys will see later, it didn't show in the back. So it's really not a big deal. Um, but I'm just doing this because at this point in the video, I didn't know if it was gonna show or not. <laughs> As you can see, the hairline is, it's the super pre-plucked hairline. If it's too plucked for you, you could always cut it back some. And that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to make the wig cap at least fit with my head. So as you can see around the ear, it comes down a little bit further. So I'm gonna have to resize by cutting. And when you go to cut around the ear, you wanna make sure you do not cut that invisible elastic um, strap. And I am gonna go and cut some of this hairline back a little bit. All right, so you want to go and remove the lace in the back also. I'm going to do that off camera so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> to adjust the invisible band, all you do is take the string and then just pull it. You want to hold that piece at the bottom while you pull, and you'll see that one side of the wig will tighten up. And now, of course, you want to be gentle with this. You don't want to go snatching it. And Yeah, so here's a sneak peek of the back. We'll get more into that later. Ask about this, and this is the question of wearing glasses and this pushing down on your ear. So, you just kind of put a slit right there in your wig without cutting the bend, of course. And it should bring some comfort. And I know how I feel. I don't wear glasses all the time, um, but I do know how I feel for that lace to press against the ear. It's so uncomfortable. So, I always put a slit, even if I'm cutting into the hair a little bit. You basically want the lace to fall around your ear. And if you have any like metal or anything, just I don't know what to say about that one. You may just have to find wigs without the metal piece on there. So, I never tried this before, but I'm gonna take concealer and go over the edge of this wig cap band. All right, that's much better. Also, know if you cut back into the hairline and also around the ear, you will when you brush the hair out and get more strands of hair and that's because you cut into the hair. See the hair is so pretty on this wig. We're ready to glue it down right now. I just want to make sure the cap and everything fits. The band in the back, I got it as tight as possible. It doesn't go extremely tight 
as I want it to go. However, however, the fit is so comfortable. Like I feel like if you get the cap size correct, hugs enough where it's comfortable, but almost like you don't have a thick band. Sometimes the band and combs in the back can be so uncomfortable in other ways, but this actually is really, really comfortable. By the way, if you were wondering what scissors I'm using, these scissors are so good with cutting the lace but these scissors came in my wig dealer kit. This kit is amazing. If you have not purchased the kit, you definitely should. It's like a wig essential kit that you need. So you get the spray and you get the touch up glue and you also get the one that's my favorite favorite, which is, is the extreme hold glue. So you get three wig adhesive glues and this one kit. Um, they also put their HD wig cap in here which is really really good if you are looking to do the ball cap method and, uh, so you get a good value within this kit i wouldn't recommend it if i didn't feel like it was a good deal it's on sale right now for 35 dollars and if you use the discount below marie 10 you can save 10 percent it's a great deal i will link it below in the description box now applying this wig was so super easy the lace melts so well like i absolutely love the way the lace melts and also if you notice i did take the hairline back a little bit i cut it so again this wig is from pretty Lux hair it will be linked below we are about to let this hairline dry down and then i'm gonna show you all how to put it into a ponytail one thing I can appreciate so very much about this cap and the way that visible elastic band is in the back, there's no extra cap hanging in the back of my head as you all seen earlier. So I do feel like the density though is a bit thick for me to put it into a ponytail. So I will recommend if you get this wig and you wanna pull it up to go with the shorter length of course and other density that's maybe like 130, 150. I do believe this density is 180. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a little bit of edges around the hairline just because I feel like it suits me. Ponytail, you need some type of edges there. Let's take a look at the parting. I didn't get a chance to show you what the parting looked like. So the hairline looks good. Like I am, like this wig is everything when it comes to that lace melt, but you get a good six inch parting in the center and then on the sides, it's more like a four inch parting. And of course, in the center of the cap, you have wefts. In order to create the ponytail, if your hairline is freshly done, you want to use an edge band and just make sure it's secure. And then you wanna pull the hair up to the top of your head, making sure the sides and the back and the front is smoothed down as much as possible. Now with this wig being 180% density, it was a little bit of work for me, um, but I just wanted to show you what you can do with this wig. You can pull this wig up and with that elastic in the back, it's so simple. Um, but this is what the back of the wig look like. No glue and it's not bulky. As you all see, you can get it up into a high bun. It was a little complicated for me just because this is such a thick density. So it's not laying exactly the way I want it to lay, but it did the job okay it did good enough i didn't need to glue down the back at all because of the invisible strap it made it so easy it's not like really bulky at the nape area let's separate the pros and the cons right quick so the cons of this wig is that the elastic you want to be delicate with it you don't want to pull too hard and it will only scrunch on one side um, and also the elastic is white so of course you want to tint it that's the only two cons i see in this wig the hairline is beautiful the hair is beautiful the lace is invisible and as you can see you can put it up and i love how comfortable the invisible strap is in the back like the there's no bulkiness back there normally i have a lot of cap just hanging sometimes and yeah, I really can't pull it up like this, but at least I can get it this far and it still looks really good and it's very comfortable. Lighter on the density um, and maybe shorter in the length and you can definitely get a really, really good realistic look out of this wig. You can curl it, you can style it, it's 100% human hair. But yeah, this wig will be linked below in the description box. Be sure to check there. I will also put a discount code. Pretty Lux Hair is having sales right now, so if you wanna catch those sales to get this wig, I highly recommend this wig. I love it so, so very much. It's so freaking pretty. But I need to go now, y'all, cause I gotta tie down this hairline cause I want this wig to last for the next few days.